you already rolling yes, and stuff? Sir. Yes, sir. So you see when you come into the project, a um, big, big key to the success of this job is we made it about the community. So you'll see Kuna Best Deliveries, but then we also highlighted the laborers local, 155. You'll see IBW 291, and you see operators local 302. Just outside Boise, in the growing city of Kuna, Idaho, a transformative energy project is taking shape. IPA Power is constructing the state's largest battery energy storage system, an ambitious 150 megawatt, 600 megawatt hour facility designed to meet Idaho's increasing energy demands. The people who benefit from this is the community. The end users is the schools, the hospitals, the churches. People are going to these places to work. And without a reliable network, we all fail. Battery energy storage systems act like giant rechargeable batteries for the power grid. They store excess electricity when demand is low and release it when demand peaks, ensuring a stable and reliable energy supply. So when we store the electricity when demand is slow and then we deliver it when it matters most, that's how we make sure that we get reliable power supply, prevent the outages, and we get to keep communities running on dependable local energy. To facilitate the project, IPA Power partnered with Cupertino Electric, a seasoned NECA contractor known for its excellence in energy infrastructure, and the skilled labor force from IBW Local 291 played a pivotal role, bringing expertise and dedication to the construction efforts. They bring deep technical expertise, they bring proven execution, and a commitment to safety. Initial thoughts when the best project came around was uh, it's uh, going to be a great project for our members to get out and showcase their, their talent and skills. Maybe mid, mid high, and then we'll just see where it looks best, and then we'll put it there. There's not no specific height, even though I drew it on the picture. We're on the tail end of the project, so that's really um, our major concern. And one thing is, I don't know if we have already, but those wheel spools that we, that we got out here. In total, the project demanded the installation of 174 Tesla Megapacks, 44 medium voltage transformers, and the construction of a 138 kV substation. As you're building a best, right off of the truck, the equipment is energized. So it's essentially like a power plant and a substation all in one. It's challenging in the aspect, it's not just go, 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 go. There's a lot of safety protocols in place before you can get going. The Tesla Mega Packs basically uh, they're filled with uh, lithium batteries in them where they store energy and then they release energy uh, back to the grid. It's different from your commercial or industrial. It's just the underground, the MV cable, prepping all the underground for all the big heavy equipment. So there's a lot of detail in the front end. Together, Cupertino Electric and IBEW 291 have not only advanced Idaho's clean energy landscape, but have also set a benchmark for future projects. Their partnership underscores the power of collaboration in driving sustainable innovation. I have worked union across the country. I'm really blessed to say that I have seen the best of us and 291 is up there with that. Our relationship with Cupertino um, on this project has been fantastic. And uh, it's just another feather in a cap for our local. Staying on that leading edge and, and maintaining that for our membership, that's, that's what we're here for. Just a few years ago, large-scale energy storage was really rare. Now we're seeing over 20 gigawatts of grid storage capacity installed in just a few short years. Just to put that into scale, that's enough to power millions of American homes and businesses at the momentum is continuing to grow. So total installed storage capacity is expected to double again in a matter of months. And by 2050, the grid-scale battery storage system could supply roughly 40% of the world's short-term electricity needs. So that's, that's gonna be a really big deal.